Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. This is Farid Pramani once again and we are starting Ignite the Spark series on self-development and personal development and my intention is to help budding entrepreneurs most of the time but this applies to everyone. So we will take different week-wise sessions you know and there are 10 core areas which I have gathered. Uh, these are required in very expensive coaching programs but we will try to bring it uh, in courtesy uh, so that this all, everyone in the listeners can be helped. So topic for today is mindfulness and mindfulness in entrepreneurship. So you know everybody in today's fast moving world especially post COVID the recession is increased the challenges are more uh, entrepreneurs are struggling through supply chain mechanism the competition is increasing inflation is increasing those things have been there also in the past this is not something which has happened overnight but what exactly can help somebody who is either starting up a business either thinking to get into starting something either wants to get into freelancing world either wants to get into career education either wants to change his life mindfulness is very important now what is mindfulness what the name suggests mind you know you know using the brain fullness means being in the full state of mind so the problem that happens in today's world is there are two concepts one is called multitasking and one is called multiple tasking in multiple tasking usually we do multiple things at a time and people in fast-paced world think it's very productive it's not research in London School of uh, Market Research has proven that multiple things at a time does not help with bringing results neither quality of work quality of life because it creates depression it increases anxiety it increases your cortisol hormone but on the other way multiple tasking multiple tasking means like let's say Elon Musk works his week into three different businesses so he has Monday Friday for one business Tesla Tuesday Wednesday for another Thursday for another this is called multiple tasking you can set out your day doing multiple works but when you are in one work when you are in one project you should be in your full focus so that is called mindfulness so the state of meditation the state of meditation is sometimes confused as being religious no it's not state of meditation is very important in corporate life all these fortune 500 fortune 100 company ceos are trained on using nlps neuro-linguistic programming on using mindfulness and meditation and they say especially do that before starting your day why it is important because as you are ready to get and jump into the stressful life what happens just see how your work day starts you get yourself ready at eight o'clock nine o'clock whatever time you start work or maybe you're working as a freelancer in the night hours to catch up early hours for somebody else you get into haphazard situation now very few people are planned some people are planned on a google calendar way which is daily planning some people are planned on a weekly level some people are broadly planned on monthly level whichever is your mindset heart set but before jumping into anything if you give 20 minutes of meditation time and meditation time means being mindful that okay what are my tasks for the day what were the tasks that has to be achieved where are the challenges that my business will suffer what are the challenges that as a new startup i will face what will be the obstacles what will be the problems demands for the client when i set myself up for presentation today maybe i'm writing proposals what other areas should i focus on that will set myself different from others so when you compare meditation with being mindful your results are more strategic more unique more oriented and that's where you can win so i hope these small takeouts under five minute every day how to become successful entrepreneur and open your next level to creativity helps you. This is Farid Pramani.